welcome everybody. My name is Neil Fong. I'm the president of the Australasian College of Health Service Management and we are providing you some tips on how leaders lead during the COVID-19 pandemic crisis. Today uh, our speaker is Dr Erwin Lowe. Erwin is the Group Chief Medical Officer for St Vincent's Health Australia and has a fantastic uh, background in health and law and health management. He was previously the Chief Medical Officer of the Monash Health System and is also a fellow of our college and a fellow of the College of Medical Administrators. So welcome Erwin and share your thoughts with us about how leaders lead through COVID-19. Hi, my name is Erwin Lowe. I'm the Group Chief Medical Officer for St. Vincent South Australia. So how do we keep our staff to deal with back of house type functions? How do we help them feel valued and that they're contributing to the pandemic response. Because people who work in those roles are less visible than our frontline clinicians, and they may feel less heroic. There are three things that we can do as leaders. Number one, we can help them understand that in a team, everyone plays an important part. People who work in IT, people in finance, administrative type staff, people in the kitchen, cleaners, they are just as important as our doctors, nurses, and our health practitioners. Number two, we need to help them understand that they all have skills that can help out during this time. Some people in non-clinical roles actually have come from a clinician background, so they could potentially be reskilled, re re-registered, and redeployed to help fill gaps. Other staff may actually work in other uh, be, be moved into other types of supportive roles, um, even if they have no clinical background. So they could help out with manning phones, they could be retrained to provide other types of care like pastoral care. The third point to make is that during this time of crisis is when we as leaders need to help our staff, including those uh, in the back office, to live out our values of the respective organizations that we are part of. Now is the time to understand the mission, the vision of our organizations and help everybody understand that we can all play a part in sh showing our shared values of compassion, of respect, of excellence. So in conclusion, all of us from the back office to the front line, we can all play a part and make a difference because we can work together and help to save lives and turn the tide. I hope this helps. Keep safe.